I'm Catherine. Uh, I'm just doing a short video presentation just to show you a little bit uh, about myself, where I've come from, what I do. Um, I was born and brought up in Northampton in England. Um, obviously I'm English. Uh, then I went to do a degree in law and politics in London. Um, I'm really interested in politics. Um, I would say I've got very much a social bone and it reflects itself pretty well in everything I do. Um, from there, I guess I could say that I fell into psychiatric nursing. Um, I say that because I visited a friend one day who happened to be in hospital and it completely intrigued me as to how and why people think differently. Um, and it, I really enjoyed helping people, I guess, navigate uh, the best way they can through this world. Um, I'm really interested in well-being, both physical and psychological. Whilst I was a nurse, um, I became a nurse specialist and I helped to um, formulate a new team uh, and help form a training package to help people work differently. Um, I'm very much a collaborator and I, and I like people to be inspired by what they do. Um, I also taught nurse students uh, and nursing professionals. Um, and I would say, both formally and informally, uh, I do find formal instruction a little bit like a straitjacket. Um, so I, I love informal ways of learning. Um, personally, I find that uh, nurse students, uh, because they're adults, so they're expert in many things. Um, but when it comes to learning a new thing, it, it can feel like you're on the back foot. And, and so I find the biggest hurdle is to get over anxiety and get over making errors. Um, and then you can get on with learning, which is a really great thing. And you can do that together, which I really like. So I do have a, a, a certificate, if you like, in uh, teaching nurses. Uh, so mm, that's there. Uh, in 2006, I moved to France. Um, it was very much about um, being excited about seeing life differently, so having a new perspective, learning a new culture and language. Um, it has been mixed. There's some really great things and there's been things that have been quite difficult. Um, and I do understand how difficult it can be to learn a new language. Um, so, yes, uh, some of my... Uh, Interest will be from helping people again get over anxieties and get on with uh, learning what they want to learn. So, um, during this time, I've also done a master's in art history. My great passion is art, uh, fundamentally. Um, I love contemporary art, I love the debate that it sparks, um, I love everything about it. Uh, I love the theory, the ideas, the philosophy, politics. Yeah, uh, if I can get to see some art, uh, I'm there. Um, I do try and create some art myself. Uh, I do do painting uh, occasionally. Um, but this year I've fundamentally enjoyed photography. Um, I don't know why, but uh, this year I, I think I've broke the barrier of the lens and uh, I can see things differently, ordinary things differently through the lens. and. Uh, I've really enjoyed that and you can see some examples of my work on YouTube. Um, I've collaborated with my partner who's a musician and uh, together we've uh, produced some uh, music videos and that's an ongoing project which uh, really enjoyed. We've done a bit of acting and uh, yeah doing things differently so that's been really interesting. Um, I'm an avid reader. I've always got a book and uh, I always tell my kids uh, books, books are your best friends and uh, I very much see them as that. Uh, I'm currently reading a Toni Morrison book at the minute. Uh, I love her, I love the way she writes, it, it's thoroughly delicious uh, I would say and I love her perspective and, and social comment. Uh, so that's that. Um, yeah, anything cultural, creative, love music, um, occasionally go to concerts in Paris, uh, love all music depending on my mood. Uh, so yeah, rock, folk, jazz, classic, anything, I love it. Um, so yeah, so I'm very interested to that you say you're interested in cultural pursuits uh, to learn. That, that sounds great to me. 
Um, other things, uh, strengths, well, uh, I would say I'm very good at engaging with people. Uh, I'm a good listener and uh, I do know how to get over barriers of anxiety and not worry about errors. Uh, I would say that's a big strength uh, in learning. I, I love sharing knowledge, so uh, I'm good with people in that respect. Um, weaknesses. Mm. Uh, I would say perhaps a bit of a perfectionist at times, which might be difficult for other people, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it can be a good thing and it can be inhibitive, so it just depends on the situation. Uh, availability, I guess uh, I would need to discuss that with you. Um, be it full-time, doing a package part-time, I don't know, I, I think that's open to, to discussion really. Um, as to my right, to be in France, I mean, I've been in France since 2006. Um, I'm, I work full time on a contract CD. Um, I also am an auto entrepreneur, so I, I have a CIRIT number. So um, I, ho I hope that's acceptable. Um, I hope you like the presentation. Um, I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.